I'd like to find the road we roam together, swinging along, finding the long way home. We didn't mind the time or place for weather, singing a song, finding the long way home. Remember, I used to sigh at the end of each day, dear. What is going on, explorers? Another roadside find. Looks to be an old homestead or a very early farmhouse over there. And uh, most likely the original, well, an original farmhouse to the area. There's some old sheds over there. But let's go over and check this place out, guys. See what's left. Check it out, guys. She's an oldie. Doors open. Veranda starting to collapse. But I think this is going to be a cool one, guys. Looks like there's old washing machines and stuff sitting out the front. So, let's have a look around. I've got my... Uh, stick just in case there's an old push bike because it is right in the middle of snake season guys and bee season look at that old tree that old tree tells a story that uh, life has moved on from this place and that old shed over there collapsed not a breath of wind today, guys. First time for ages. Now I can hear bees. And I can see them swarming above that tank. Well, I'm going to get a view of the front. Oh, it's a it's a classic little cottage with an add-on. Yeah, there's bees above the tank, but they're not too bad. There's an old TV sitting there too. The door to that little add-on is blocked off. There is a window open. Not sure how we'll go getting in there. What oh, that old TV? I'm just giving the ground a bit of a bash. These are old. Damn cobwebs. It's 
an old dishwasher. It's an old washing machine there. And that looks like an old, maybe an old tumble dryer. And there's an old Tonka toy. Tonka truck, tip truck. So, guessing this place is used as storage, obviously, but um, that's nothing new. Could be some cool things in here, guys. Let's go. She's an oldie. Look at it. Look at the wainscoting. Did have power. Not sure what these things are. Lined up. Look like tabletops of some sort. Wow, look at the old vent. Can't actually get in there, guys, but. <laughs> Lean in and see what's left. Bed heads. Yeah, the wine's cutting vertical boarding there. Definitely an oldie, guys. Have to be around 1900. Yeah, this is a really, um, secluded one but as you saw there are, there are wind turbines through this area but that's why it's so quiet miles from the highway there's another old couple of stoves there that's a metas a metas The tennis court net. Yeah, okay, we'll step over in here and have a bit of a squiz. I was in one yesterday. And these pastel colours, these colours are just all throughout these old homes. Particularly out here in Victoria. Country Victoria. And there's an old toilet. Never installed. Child's pram. Another bed head. There's a child's baby carriage, like a toy one for its doll. There is another IXL stove there. So this one's like a pinky apricot colour, or a salmon. The first room had like a limey, yellowy, limey, yellowy. We've got the blue. That's like a natural 
colour. But check out the door. It's got stained glass in it. Started to collapse in here. Look at that child's cot. You can just picture a family, a farming family, working the land and uh, making their way through life. their kids yeah the water's got in there and the old mantle or well, part of the fire surround has fallen in there now that is kind of, oh no, the door, the door to that um, side add-on, there's an open one around the other side, so it looks like we'll be able to have a look in there. What's this? Old Vulcan. That could be a, an old heater, an old oil heater. It's actually a pretty cosy cottage. Mm, cockroach down there. What's in here? Another bedroom. Guns and Roses could have been used as storage, but I um, could have been placed here as storage. But that might be an indication of maybe when there was someone staying here. That means the late eighties, early nineties. But as I said. Um, well, as I've said before, these old cottages, even when they're run down, they, they used to get used for the shearers or the farmhands that would be out here rousing and shearing for a um, few months a year. And they would just use these old places anyway. And uh, they were cheap rentals. I reckon there's another beehive down this end, I can hear them. Yes, in the bathroom unfortunately. Yeah, they're coming and going through that window. I don't, want to tick, I don't want to tick them off, but... Oh, this looks like a... Just the back hallway area where... The power box once was. Just check this room. This looks like the actual kitchen, guys. Yeah, the ceiling's completely gone here. And the floor. Oh, yeah, there's the wasps around the corner. Shit. 
I don't want to piss them off guys, I'm just going to uh, zoom in around this room. Look, this is a huge space, spacious, spacious kitchen guys. Definitely not walking in there guys. <laughs> There's too many of those wasps getting around. Bees. You tick one of them off and they all come. So, which way do we go? Might go back out the front, guys. Oh, hang on, there's a room here. Oh, man, there's another beehive on the wall there, guys. There. The uh, camera's not... Those dark patches on the wall, that's where there's a honeycomb sitting in the wall there. Take a walk around the side. So quiet, you can just hear the hum of those turbines. So, So there's the um, there's a side door to that kitchen there. Kitchen's definitely um, it may have been added, may have been added, guys, to the original cottage because the cabinets. The original part there, and initially there may have been a little old lean-to. Birds, little old lean-to, and then they put that extension on. Could be, I could be wrong. Cactus, cacti. Oh, that shed didn't survive the tree falling on it. It was probably well and truly falling over before that. I wonder what was in there. Probably an old horse and buggy. <laughs> an old I can see something in there. It is some, it is an old piece of machinery. Mm. Not, not looking too flash from the back there, is it? Oh yeah, there's a huge swarm right above the kitchen ceiling. This 
So I'm not, I can't even walk up to that window and put the camera in for the bathroom. And that room has seen better days. Just looks like a back bedroom. And there's an old rusted fridge. You know, they take the doors off those things because kids used to get trapped in them because you can't unlock them from the inside once you're in there. Now that is a perfect picture of natural decay. Original old shearing shed over there, falling in on itself. So, let's have a sneak peek in this little add-on. So many dishwashers and washing machines sitting around. This would have been the um, farmhands' quarters, or if they did have a lot of children, I'll probably put some of them out here. But usually, these little add-ons can be used as farmhands and shearers quarters. If I open this, looks as though there was a sheep or two stuck in here, unfortunately. Yeah, one there, one there. Well, there's a couple of skulls there. It looks as though a few of them got stuck in here and there's a ram's head there even. Poor buggers. But yeah, this is just a simple room. No pastel colours for the Sharing quarters. Close that one back over. Well, we'll go over there where that uh, big shed was. A little bit of a breeze picking up. Oh, there's a Commodore over there. I did see that from a distance, but uh, it's definitely a Commodore. 
VS or VR. Holden Commodore. Flamin' Galars. No engine. No engine and it looks like the radio's, radiator's sitting in the front seat. I think it's just a graveyard for old machinery. Now yeah, that's an oldie. Oh. Trying to see what make it is. But that's an old Massey Ferguson. Oh, that's just all been piled up. That's old fencing wire. Well, there's heaps of tricycles and maybe they weren't just scrapping scrap metal and things like that. There's another Massey Ferguson. So this was the the machinery shed for the old cottage, no doubt about it. Look at that, there's a little little moped or something. Oh, so many flies. Oh, hang on. Whoa, there's bees in there as well. Damn. In that piece of machinery, there's a nest. But yeah, that's all machinery. Sitting there like a museum, isn't it? Holland. It's a Holland brand. And 
That's all just wood storage through the end of that part of the shed. Just planks of wood. Wow. Always think back and try and imagine these places thriving as a working farm. It'd be awesome to time travel and see that. All right, well, I'm gonna walk back towards the cottage and if I see anything interesting on the way, I'll film it. Just a little shed that I forgot to look in. And it's just full of barbed wire and fencing stakes, posts, iron droppers. And there is another old New Holland piece of machinery there. All right, well, that was a cool explore, guys and girls. Now, sorry I couldn't just walk into the bathroom and into the kitchen, but I'm not stirring up bees and being caught out here with a million bee stings on me. I mean, bees can be docile, but they can be aggressive too. And they were in there first. Alright. Glad I uh, took this road and found this gem. What a reminder of the olden days. That's what I love about these old country ones. They've just got that olden days vibe. Along with the entire farm around it. But jump in the comments guys. Let me know your thoughts and... I'm going to move on to the next one, and I'll see you there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye. Remember, I used to sigh at the end of each day.